Hey guys, how y'all doing tonight? Um, check out that full moon, right? Uh, I'm actually on the way to the gym and I had a big encounter by the Lord Jesus that I need to get out. Um, this is actually a warning. This is a message for whoever will take it. Please share this, get this out to as many people as possible. So I had a really big angelic encounter this afternoon uh, when I got home from work. I was giving a little testimony and sharing things a little bit about what was going on in my day, uh, what the Lord had done. And as that was happening, as that was happening, in my living room, the, the, the presence of the Lord flooded into my living room. I mean, really flooded. And as it flooded into my living room, instantly, a really, really tall angel, he had to be about eight, nine feet tall. Maybe he was he was at least two feet taller than me. Was standing there in heavy robes. The glory of God was coming out of his his chest and belly. It was like God had deposited himself in this angel to shine to give this message. He was radiating the light of God like he had just came from Jesus. I'm not sure what part of heaven he was at, but man, he was filled <laughs> before he showed up to me and he came and instantly as he came the spirit of God was speaking to me and it was like he was carrying a warning in his body as he appeared I instantly knew in my being oh no this is a warning okay this is a warning as that warning was being brought to me I said okay what's going on here right out this angel with four others, there was a total of five. The angel that showed up first that presented this warning by the Spirit of God and was connecting to me, he blew his trumpet. Okay? He blew his trumpet with all four. All right? They all blew their trumpet like an arrival, like, dun dun dun, here it comes. It was more of a here it comes trumpet, like declaring the manifestation of something. As they all blew their trumpet, it was all like they blew it once in unison. It wasn't like a song. Um, it wasn't like that shofar that people know about in the Jewish custom. It was different than that, okay? This was, it was one sound and a warning, and the angel said, there is water coming to cover California and the West Coast. I instantly, after he said, that, said this, I saw a open-eyed vision right before me, and I saw the West Coast of America from California Oregon to the to Washington state that whole thing I saw a literal red line that indicated flooding flooding was coming and as I saw that vision the angel started to speak and declare that be ready the Lord is going to allow something all right but this flooding will not be something that God ever wanted because this thing will be caused by something that's not particularly natural. I have to speak coded. I cannot say exactly what this angel told me what was causing it. But this flooding is going to be tsunami-like. But it will not be by a natural reason. It, it will be something obscure, okay? Um, uh satanic devices okay let, let's go with that satanic devices and it will be beneath the ocean and it will do things all right i saw as this angel declared what was happening what was going to happen the four angels were standing by with their trumpets down this was such a holy sacred moment as he began to declare this it was more of a warning for the church to be prepared for some for some startling things startling things okay the church's eyes cannot be where they are we cannot have our outlook on the world right now we literally need to be buried our faces in the heart of God I don't know when this is I don't know any time frame I was only given this warning and I was told to get it out now one thing I will say also is that when I saw, after the angel declared what he declared, 
he blew his trumpet three times. And as he blew his trumpet, he was getting taller and taller and taller. I'll tell you a mystery. Angels can expand their height and their size. They do not have to stay the same height. All right? Understand how the fallen angels stole so much from heaven. All right? These Nephilim giants were, that's not a new thing to be. Being a giant is nothing. They brought it here because they were already doing it up there. Okay? So this is what he was doing. And he was expand. He was growing taller as he sounded his trumpet three times, and then he just stood in the corner of my house. This is serious. I don't have this stuff happen to me, guys. I, I don't. So, please take it for what you will. I love y'all. Be safe. Once again, this tsunami, this flood that's coming, will certainly be a flood out of nowhere. One last thing, it's out of nowhere. When I saw the waves, this whole wave came over the whole West Coast. It just showed up. It was quiet, it was silent, there was not an explosion, there was no earthquake. This thing will happen very deep beneath the ocean and then the only thing that will happen is a wave will just come. It'll just show up. Okay, it's just going to show up. Readiness in Christ is the key. This is no fear. I am not fear mongering. I am only giving a warning from the Lord. Please, I ask everybody, do not just turn this off. Go and pray. Go and pray. This is not a time to play. Seek the Lord and say, is this true? Go to the Lord and find this out because I don't have angelic encounters. Not like that. All right. I love y'all. Be safe. I can't wait to see y'all this Sunday. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go work out. Thank y'all.